one country, two prime ministers. Papua New Guinea is in the grip of a constitutional crisis, with Sir Michael Samari and Peter O'Neill both claiming to be the country's legitimate leader. Last night, the Supreme Court ruled the election of Mr O'Neill in August was unconstitutional and it ordered the reinstatement of Sir Michael as PNG's Prime Minister. Tonight, neither man is giving ground. PNG correspondent Liam Fox reports from Port Moresby. There have been incredible scenes here at Government House after yesterday's orders by the Supreme Court to reinstate Sir Michael Samari as PNG's Prime Minister. Since last night, it's been guarded by dozens of heavily armed policemen loyal to Sir Michael. But this afternoon, Peter O'Neill and around 60 fellow MPs barged through the police barricade all the way to the locked gate and demanded to see the Governor-General. After a while, the Governor-General's secretary addressed the crowd and told them the head of state was confused by the Supreme Court's orders. He essentially told the two parties to get together and sort it out amongst themselves. It was a suggestion that didn't go down too well with Peter O'Neill. As Parliament speaks as today, I, I'm the Prime Minister of the country. Uh, and uh, and uh, Somara is trying to hijack it with some hooligan policemen. Uh, that's a fact. <coughs> Earlier today, the Speaker of Parliament announced he would be ignoring the Supreme Court's orders. I will recognise the Honourable Peter O'Neill as the duly elected Prime Minister and only legitimate government of Papua New Guinea. Sir Michael hasn't been seen in public today, but last night he said he was ready to lead the country again. My doctor's in Singapore and there is a <coughs> devout that my health is as good as any. I'm old enough to be a 40-year-old again. Australia's foreign minister appealed for calm. We don't want to see bloodshed on the streets, given that we did have gunfire last night and some uh, somewhat disturbing incidents. A short time ago, Mr O'Neill and his supporters left Government House but vowed to continue the fight. So PNG remains in a political deadlock. Where it goes from here is anyone's guess. Liam Fox, ABC News, Port Moresby.